Hey guys, in the fast lane here. Uh, in this video, I got a request to show how to take an oil pump off of a B-Series Honda. So I'm just going to do a brief breakdown and tell you guys all the torque specs, and I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out from there. Okay, so the first thing you'll have to do is take the timing belt off. It's going to go down, around, over the timing tensioner, under, and up. So you'll pull it off of the cams, and before you do that, you loosen this bolt right here off the uh, timing tensioner, loosen it and the bell will loosen. Then you can take your crank pulley off and save the keyway. There's a little key, little dowel key right here. Save that. Um, you're going to take off this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. Before you do that, you're going to flip the engine upside down and you want to take off the oil pickup. So let me flip it up. Alright, so here's the oil pickup. Take this bolt off and this bolt they will be 10 millimeters. All these bolts are 10s except for the end bottom ones on the oil pump. Those are uh, 12 millimeter. So then you remove this and once you remove that then you'll be able to come over here. Now keep in mind the motor's upside down and you'll be able to pull the oil pump right off once you get rid of all these little 10 millimeter bolts. These are 12s up here. Now I'm gonna explain to torque them. Let me go start from the bottom. Once you put it all back together, obviously when you put the oil pump back on, you're going to want to change out the seal. It's pretty easy. You just stick a screwdriver once you pull it off. And don't let the screwdriver hit the outside right here because when you're scratching it, you don't want to scratch the outer mitting surface where the seal seals. If you do, put some RTV around the seal and then slide the seal back in. So put the new seal in and then you'll take your oil pump and make sure you change out the o-ring there's an o-ring right here put a new o-ring on there that's where it meets the block and then slide it on kind of wiggle there's two dowel pins i believe uh... somewhere right over here and there's another dowel pin over here so you can't get it wrong make sure before you put it on you put rtv silicone you can see right here the rtv the gray permatech or honda bond you're gonna want to go all the way around the oil pump I usually just put it on the block, like when the oil pump's off, I'll just rub my finger around the whole block all the way, and then put the oil pump on with the new uh, oil pump seal. Then it'll smush out right here, and I wipe it clean on either side over here, keep wiping it clean, and then you'll be able to put your new uh, oil pan gasket on there, because if you leave it on there, it's going to leave a bump, because it'll squish it out and you don't want that, so wipe it off immediately. So now that you have that done... To torque it, I'll start with the bottom and then I'll tell you how to do the oil pump. So for the pickup, let me put the pickup, you just slide it on like that. It's got a seal, I reuse the same seal and just put some RTV on there, some gray. Just try not to get it in the hole, just a thin layer. You put your two 10 millimeters right here and you torque them to 97 inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch. And the same with these two, these two nuts right here, they're both 97 inch pounds. Let me take this off because I haven't bolted it up. I'm in the process of finishing up this motor hopefully today, so. Um, okay, so let me flip this around and then I'll explain this part. All right, torque specs for the oil pump. All of these 10 millimeters right here, you got one, two, three, four, four bolts. Those are going to be 97 inch pounds, just like the oil pickup. Then these two right here, these two 12 millimeters, are going to be 17 foot pounds. Not inch pounds, but foot pounds. And then the bolt for the uh, timing tensioner pulley, once you get the timing back up, that's another video down the road. Uh, you torque this to 40 foot pounds. That's on all B series. This is all B series torque specs. If you need to know the torque specs, go to my website, www.nnthefastlane.com. You can find it on my YouTube, my Facebook. Go check it out. You can go to the filing cabinet and download all the torque specs for B-Series, or you can go to uh, Honda Database, and it's in there, torque specs. I forgot to mention, you cannot remove the oil pump without removing the oil pan, obviously, that's already off. Um, when you put it back on and you put your new seal on, in between the joints right here where the oil pump meets the block you want to put just a line of RTV there a line of RTV here and then over here where the uh, crank 
uh, rear main seal casing meets the block, you want to put a line here and a line here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.